Hello, Media Mayhem here. Um, just kind of a quick video. I want to talk a little bit about these Grammy nominations and kind of who I think I uh, who I think is going to win and some snubs. But especially like I don't know if you're putting money on this or something. I think I have some pretty good insight as to what I think might win for some of these categories. And I'm just going to go through random ones that I want to go through that I see like potential in like picking out one of these that is actually going to win and also just stuff I want to talk about. Um, first of all, you know, biggest surprise was Donda getting album of the year nomination. I just didn't see that coming at all. And it's also great to see, you know, Cardi, uh, Lil Durk, Lil Yachty, The Locks, Vivio Foreign, West Side Gun, all these guys getting a nomination because of this. I just think that's great in and of itself. Um, but in terms of what I think might win Best Album of the Year, it's really hard to say because every year at the Grammys, it feels like whatever you think is going to win doesn't end up winning. And I don't even have like a clear cut guess for this. But what I will say about Song of the Year is, you know, I think that's going to go to Olivia Rodrigo for Driver's License because not only do I think that she's definitely she is definitely going to get Best New Artist, by the way, lock that in right now. And, you know, the other best new artists like Baby Keem and Japanese Breakfast, especially Glass Animals. I saw Glass Animals at Lollapalooza three years ago. I think their eligibility for being a new artist is kind of ridiculous. Um, but yeah, still going down pop solo performance. Um, I think it's going to go to Olivia Rodrigo. Uh, pop duo performance. Only, you know, I get a kick out of you just because it's Tony Bennett. Um, I don't really care, but I, I do think that's going to win and kind of like skipping past some of the stuff I don't really care about and going more towards, um, the rap music. And, and that's sort of the categories where I think, um, not only I have some good predictions, but you know, it's, it's kind of worth pointing some things out here. So best rap performance, we got family ties up my life way too sexy which drake actually just pulled himself out i wasn't even going to pick that anyway and thought shit by megan the stallion looking at this i think it's going to go to megan the stallion um she's had a killer year they're not going to give it to j cole they're not going to give it to baby keem he's too new um yeah i don't really have much else to say about it best melodic rap performance though this is an interesting category and you know you got pride is the devil need to know industry baby what's your name and hurricane I think we got two very clashing things here. We got What's Your Name and Hurricane. Um, Tyler, the Grammys love Tyler. And for that reason, I'm picking What's Your Name. But also because I think it's the best. I think that Tyler bringing Youngboy on the track and kind of exposing him to this audience that may not have listened to Youngboy's music before, I think that might be what really um, pushes this song above and, and makes it the eventual winner. Best rap song, uh, we got Bath Salts, Best Friend, Family Ties, Jail, and My Life. So much J. Cole nomination. A lot of J. Cole. Um, I don't think he's going to win anything. Um, but for this one, I think it's going to go Best Friend just because of how big that song was. And second place is Jail just because that was a good song. Although, Best Rap Song, eh, I don't even think it's the best song on the album, but whatever. Best rap album. This is where things get interesting because, you know, obviously Drake taken out of this category. We got the off season King's Disease 2, Call Me If You Get Lost and Donda. You know, the Grammys love Nas. They just gave him album. They just gave him best rap, rap album, if I'm not mistaken. But the Grammys love Tyler, the creator. And that's why I think Call Me If You Get Lost is going to win best rap album. But if we're talking snubs here, where the hell's whole lot of red? That, that's it, you know, in, in terms of rap albums that have had, you know, a, a transitionary impact, I think it's a whole lot of red that, you know, trumps all of these albums in terms of the affect that they've had on other music. You know, that's kind of all I have to say about the Grammys. It's the Grammys. I don't want to waste a lot of time on it. But, you know, if you're going to put money down, especially on rap performances, best rap song. Well, you know what? It's Tyler. Anything Tyler is nominated in, pick it. That's my final advice. And they need to show Playboy Cardi some more love than they've been showing him recently.